BBC Sky Night magazine is here at the InSight Astronomy Photographer of the Year Awards 2016. With over 4,500 entries from over 80 countries, it's been a truly magnificent year. We've had entries from as far as China, Brazil and even the Antarctic. So let's have a chat with some of the winners and the judges to find out what it takes to make a truly award-winning photograph. We saw this year many photographs that were pushing the boundaries of traditional astrophotography and breaking some of the conventions. Aurora photos that were in black and white were just these very subtle pastel shades. The solar eclipse picture, that beautifully symmetric, almost abstract composite. There were a lot of original entries and I think many of them made it to the winning list this year. We had a moon that uh, the photographer inverts the colours of it and it was a really nice result. The winner, the Bailey's Bees, was actually one of my favourites, so I'm really glad that uh, that was the overall winner. And it was an invitation for the viewer to discover more about this phenomenon that is not so well known, the Bailey's Bees. We also had uh, the Sirius star uh, photographed out of focus, which is not something that photographers normally do. So there were a lot of people finding original approaches to capturing usual, usual objects in the sky. What I really like about the judging process is the way that people from very different backgrounds, scientists and artists and curators, will like the same photo for different reasons and then they will team up to champion that photo to the rest of the panel. And I certainly had my mind changed about photos that I hadn't really seen the, um, the, 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 the true glory of and then it was pointed out to me. And then I also had the, the pleasure of convincing other people that the photo that I really liked was the one that should win a prize. So it was, it was a good day. The moon is one of the easier uh, things to take photos of because I live in Chicago and there's a lot of light pollution. So that's really bright so it goes through all the light pollution. I just kind of accidentally pressed Control i in Photoshop to invert and I really liked the way it ended up looking. I had never really seen anything like it before and I thought it looked really interesting. So I decided to just go along with it and keep editing and I thought it really brought out some of the detail in the moon. It was a very strange night because uh, at the beginning of the night the, the scene conditions were not very good. But the image was taken uh, early in the morning and for a few minutes the, 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 the atmosphere was really, really uh, steady and I could see the moon like a, like a paint and I could take two images and, and it was uh, an amazing view. The night I took that image was part of a long observing session, so I was actually up all night and it wasn't until later in the night that Saturn actually became high enough in the sky and I basically imaged it until the sun came up because the conditions were just so fantastic. I know total eclipse is a very rare phenomenon and maybe someone just live in some place uh, entire life he will not see once. I'm a total eclipse chaser. I just want to show this to as many as people. Maybe, maybe they will come with me next time to see the dramatic thing. Just before and after the total one, you will see some sunlight uh, disappearing or reappearing from the, the side of the lunar face. Uh, that's a very fast changing thing. <laughs> so I just want to record it and show the changing of this phenomenon. Just after I photo take picture of this total eclipse, I propose to my now wife, <laughs> to my girlfriend then. I would say to people thinking of entering the, uh, the competition to think carefully about all aspects of, of your picture because that's what's being considered when it comes to a contest like that. It's, it's not just the technical level or the technical excellence of the picture. You have to consider the artistic elements, composition, all of these different things come into play. And you often see in some of the winning photos quite unusual choices that astrophotographers would perhaps never have thought of as, as an entry into a contest.
So that's it for another year at the InSight Astronomy Photographer of the Year Awards. As you can see, there's been some really innovative ideas this year. So hopefully you've got a few more ideas that will wow the judges and we'll see you here next year.